So we're at K1 for the GP. Uh, I haven't been here for two months. I haven't competed. So I pretty much lost um, a lot of like the championship fight. I think I'm 20 something odd points behind the top two. Um, so right now I just need to keep third. Right now uh, the guy in fourth, Ben Kistner, is one point behind me. Um, so I just really need to dial in focus. Um, I just need to get good results. I missed two events last year and I was still able to come out on top. So with a little bit of luck from from my end to get some good points, some wins, some poles, um, and for the other two guys to have not so good races would be the plan. But um, we're going to go out. We're going to do what we do. We're going to clean up and just have a good time. Yeah, friends. Yeah. <laughs> I used to race with him before I got good. You got good? Like, yeah, before I even got good. You're good? Yeah. How good are you? Dude, I'm sauced up. You never raced me though. I'm like a TJ at Friday. I'm that sauced you up. You've never raced me though, so I don't know. Dude, Anthony, you don't even want the smoke. I don't smoke. think you don't want the smoke. Dude, I'm like an unfiltered Paul Mall. You don't want the smoke. <laughs> Yo, my boy, that's vicious. Because if you've ever tried, like, that, that's raw. That's funny. We're currently starting P2 behind that man, Charles. Um, perfect. So, uh, well, I'm two, so I'm farther back. Yeah, I'm in fifth. Uh, but P5, baby. P5. We got a we got strong finish. Hopefully, we can make it all work. And I don't take out Charles for the lead. Yes, please don't. I'm gonna. <laughs> With the championship standings being as close as they are, having Benjamin Plant, the championship leader, starting from the back of the A after having not a great start to uh, this night, after having to fight his way up to the front in the B, getting the transfer into the A. You have Charles, who has the fastest lap point ahead of me in P1, and myself in P2. Uh, so overall, it's gonna be a tight fight and I just need to score good points. Personally, I'd like to get ahead of Charles to then bridge that gap a little bit farther and try to take away that extra fastest, or that Q1, Q2 fastest lap point. But I don't know, and we'll see how this race ends up going. that green flag Frankie's gonna drop it and we're green I get a great start able to get some of my nose on the inside to give Charles a huge bump into turn one and we tuck in right behind um, and you're gonna see a very different line from Charles through this event his line and my line are quite different when it comes down to it as we get a good run heading into the chicane you're gonna see him plant the brake as I'm gonna run right into the back of him here and tuck in as we go into the teardrop section as we're right on his bumper, giving him a nice push, and we're gonna try to sneak our nose down the inside for the final corner, and we get turned into not enough of me on the inside to uh, leave the space there. Uh, Fernando Alonso was in my head, you gotta leave the space, as we're still tucked up behind him. He's not really getting away, which is good, um, and that weight difference really showing here as Charles is easily 
No offense, buddy. 200, 200, 100 pounds heavier than I am as we're still right on his back bumper into the teardrop section, just looking for a good move uh, to try to sneak by him. As we're still on the back bumper, as we head into turn one here, you're gonna see me poke out a little bit, um, and he's gonna just smash on that brake pedal, give him a huge bump into turn one. Uh, Charles has a really unique way of using the brake around here, which, as for me, I, I don't. I don't need to add the cart to help rotate it more, but he needs that rotation for uh, all the all the Big Macs he's been eating. So uh, we're just gonna look for our time, look for our space around here. I don't wanna be one of those guys who just take someone out for the win. I understand it's rental carts and that's kind of the way you have to do it around here, but uh, it's not how we're gonna do it as we're gonna get right into the back of him one more time, trying to find the space here. We're still pretty close and that's all we need to be is close for him to make a mistake, keep putting the pressure on him. As again, as we head through the, tier, or the chicane, onto the teardrop section where we're tucked up right behind him and we're just gonna keep running the racing line you see him running to the middle just trying to defend that spot from us as we're still right on the back bumper when are we gonna find the time to make a move as you're gonna see we're gonna start tapping the brake as we don't need to but I just don't want to run into the back from here and still Charles running a nice and tight defensive line around here really good really good aggressive defending which you like to see around here as we're just tucked up right behind him. You're gonna see us try to go around the outside and the outside through teardrop never really works out. Uh, it's really gotta be an inside dive bomb and we're gonna stay tucked up right behind him. We're gonna go on a lap. pretty close as we head through the chicane here I'm right on his back bumper trying not to give him the momentum we're gonna shoot it down the inside really aggressive turn in and uh, yeah it's really not gonna work out uh, Charles had the rotation and yeah I was halfway there but uh, I tapped the brake on the inside which uh, slowed my car couldn't get the acceleration out of it as it wanted but pretty aggressive on my end I've tried that a couple of times with uh, some competitors back in the past GPs uh, but it just seems to be an issue where you're close and you huck it in, but either you get turned in on or it doesn't really fully complete as we're trying to use the momentum around the outside to carry us through this back corner. That was kind of my plan is trying to use the speed to get underneath into that final corner to have them on the outside, but I just didn't really have the momentum out of that corner to really execute my plan. Um, same here with uh, Schumacher, trying to use all of that outside to try to dive down the inside, but the momentum for me really wasn't there when I really needed it, as you're going to see a lot more bumping um, on my end, trying to get him unsettled through some of these corners. Um, not taking him out, I would say, but definitely using his bumper as a way to let him know, like, I'm going to start pushing you around town now. Um, and I think Charles knew that, and he drove, he drove great. Um, and was and did everything he needed to do uh, here to really hold me back. Hopefully I can try to get a run and that's not the space there you need to, to make it work as we're still right on the bumper and really having a hard time looking as I'm giving him another pot shot um, through, through the teardrop to try to get him unsettled and it still really isn't working and the race for me is becoming stale at this point because I need to get by him, I need the points uh, I don't want to finish third in the in the season. I want I want to finish first overall like I did last year. As we're gonna try to stick our nose down there, really isn't working. Um, and a lot of people might say, oh, he's got to give you the space. He's got to give you the space. For me, my nose isn't completely up there. I have barely a foot of cart in there. Uh, if I'm side by side, that's a little bit of a different story. Because we're gonna shake our head here, trying to. To regain focus I'm just not finding the space that I need to make the move and that comes down to uh, 
you really got to look for your opportunities. You really got to force someone into the snake. And someone like Charles, who doesn't fold under pressure, is, is difficult to uh, to beat. That's why uh, qualifying is such a big part of this racing series. As uh, we're going to feel the pressure from behind, um, not really knowing who's behind me at this point in time. But uh, yeah, that is the end of the race. Uh, we're going to take P2, which is going to give us some valuable points. Charles and I give each other a good old fist bump. We're still buddies at the end of the day, and that's hard racing. And uh, very enjoyable, very, very enjoyable. We're gonna shoot, shoot it. Oh, that, um, Dude, I had no regret. It was just sliding everywhere. I know. Holy hell. So your top five for this race being Charles in P1, myself in P2, Farhood in P3, Benjamin K in P4, and Dale in P5. Where he started is where he's finished. Great result for Dale. Um, and then, of course, for the championship standings, I'll post it up here in a second. But uh, you have Benjamin P who finished ninth in the A. So uh, definitely scavenging some points back, uh, which is good. But uh, the top three having a close endangered battle here. I can't wait for next month to, to see how this goes on, and I can't wait to keep battling with everyone until the season ends. On to that. Have a good one, everyone. Please like and subscribe. Share. Um, we're so close to 100 subs, and I'd love to hit that goal by the end of the year. So thank you, guys. Have a good one.